cross sections no, no, not cross sections corridor so corridor for corridor you have to go to create assembly create assembly one click ok and keep somewhere origin point and then go to tool palettes tool palettes go to tool palettes here there are so many features if you see click here assemblies metric there are basic assemblies also there divided highway primary road and then basic lanes two lane okay single lanes also there okay most useful is lane super elevation AOR1 okay the metric if you use as I told UKIE or ANG they have their specific template library okay assembly library sorry and then shoulders also there and then medians curves okay daylight generic okay generic is the best one for end conditions like earthworks cutting filling generic is the best one okay so now let's create a simple one I'll go with the lane super elevation AOR okay and then click assembly so now if you click on the left side it will take like this and then shoulder shoulders extend all click here okay now if you want to change the width and cross fall and depth very simple just click this one and control one or else sub assembly properties in sub assembly properties here you can change the 75 and cross fall also you can change it okay and depth also you can change it okay so similar for this sub assembly properties parameters you can make it 2.5 and 1.5 meter okay this one also same parameters 1.5 meters okay done and then this subassembly properties parameters 3.75 3.5% okay so if you want to change the depth of those layers you can change that okay so now this is assembly only shoulders now I want to give the end condition so for end condition the my most my preference is generic okay because you can control very very easily so in generic there are so many options but if you want to give cut fill so go with this one link slope to surface okay here you can see 25 percent 1 is to 4 okay and then left side this okay if you go with the minus 25 now instead of left choose right five positive okay that's it so end condition also created so, but you must be aware about the typical cross section creation then only you will be in a position to create a corridor okay this is just a simple one and if you want to create one more create assembly here you can make assembly two go here and keep somewhere here and you can copy very simple just click and copy and move so these options also you can use it while uh, creating a assembly no need to do the same process again and again okay so you can copy and mirror it no okay once you created a simple one and you can copy it from that okay so now assembly click I'll go with the basic assembly basic assembly simple done okay so I'll delete it okay so these two assemblies I created I want to apply in the alignment so before applying you have to create a corridor okay 
so now 1 2 3 done now fourth one corridor corridors here corridor 1 give some name now it is asking whether you want to create with respect to the alignment and profile or feature line feature line is like something if you have suppose if you want to apply uh, artwork separately at the edge of payment so we can use this option feature line option okay so it's like similar to linear template in open roads okay so but now i am going to apply to the alignment line only so alignment one next profile one assembly see whatever available in the present dwg drawing that will get displayed here okay mine is assembly one and the target surface is only one surface existing ground okay now it will ask but i don't want to apply up to this portion i just want to apply just 2 kilometers okay 2 3 kilometers okay yeah simple because otherwise file will get loaded okay and then this is interval so interval most preferable is 10 apply we will be corridor okay close see at works everything is created okay because we are in high that's in a profile if you see here we are in a somewhat higher so that's why at work has been created in a corridor if you want to see in two three windows just go here four single two horizontal and two vertical okay so like that this is the settings here okay. so now corridor has been created if you want to add one more region very simple go here corridor properties here parameters see right click insert region after okay insert region now you can give the name like uh, uh, second something anything no issue then you can select the basic assembly okay and you can change the uh, chain edge up to where you want here you can change radius uh, means chain edges so in same this is 10 anything increment So click OK, apply, repeat. See done. See two corridor, two templates, assemblies. Sorry. So that is the process. If you want to edit directly, very simple. You just extend it like this. See automatically it will get extended. Okay. This is corridor thing. and if you have any targets you can create a simple line like this okay if you want to target to this line you can use the target controls thing like this okay, done now i want to target to this line so how to do that go to corridor right click corridor properties here set all targets okay set all targets select the set all targets here see width target is there and shoulder width target right side okay left side if you want but mine is right side right so i am going with the right side and here it is none so instead of none you have to go here feature lines okay it's not alignment line so i am going with the feature line select from drawing select enter white 
it's not coming here set all targets so mine is with target so here none feature lines select from drawing yeah enter see it came polyline it should be polyline so now click ok just click ok Repeat. See, see, that's a beauty thing. You can target to the lines. Okay, this feature is available in Open Roads also. There we used to call point control. Okay, and one more feature is parametric constraint option also available in Open Roads. Okay, but in Civil 3D that type of feature is not available. Okay, as I am aware. Okay, okay now. So this is the, if you delete this automatically, it will come back, okay? So this is very useful thing while junction design and a, and a tapering, etc. So first you have to create a polylines as per your requirement and then go to corridor properties and then set all targets, okay? And then here you have to select it. If you have a slope target like 3D line, you can use this and if you have a width target only you can use the 2d line okay so that is very much simple okay so now so click ok that's it this is corridor in corridor there are so many things but it is a sim one one video right so i can't uh, cover it okay so now once the corridor has been completed what you have to do you have to create the cut fill volumes and the cross sections. So for cross sections, you have to use the sample lines. Sample lines, select the alignment. Now, before creating, see here, it will ask the, wait, wait, before creating the one thing, we have to do one, one small step, that is corridor surface. So corridor design surface. So go to corridor properties and then surfaces here click this create corridor surface and then top add as a break line okay forehand top links click okay repeat done see corridor surface has been created if you want to see the triangles you can switch on this is nothing but design surface so top mesh top mesh also so Corridor surface has been created. Now go to sample lines. So once the corridor is, has been completed, okay. So next thing is cross section output. Okay. Cross section output, how to take that. Okay. Super elevation is also there. I will try to do in a next video. Okay. So how to do that? Uh, this cross section output very simple go here sample lines select the alignment and then here give some name okay texas okay group anything group just simple group but here it should be two three the one is existing ground and then proposed ground and corridor related items okay this is style should be finished ground okay okay then you want at single station you can use it but i want it by range so you have to use by range of stations so i want end station is just 21 kilometers very simple click okay see enter now see lines has been created these are sample lines but in open roads we used to call it as named boundaries so once sample lines has been created so what is the next step you have to create a section view so here for section view here create multiple section views okay very simple section view done next 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 okay here you can choose the label set 
corridor point labels okay codes okay next here e, this is this is very very important for existing ground what is we have to take existing ground okay existing ground but this one is offset is fine we can take anything okay no issue create section views see that's the beauty see at every 20 meter interval we got the details okay so this is the process suppose if you want to display cut fill volumes okay so for that go to here tool this tool space and here that uh, group is there in group properties here you have to do material list so here add a new material i'll make cut okay and add new material i'll make fill okay in fill we need uh, some condition okay here and then corridor one means like proposed surface is proposed surface is above and existing ground is below then cut condition for fill condition okay then and then existing ground add it existing ground is below no sorry existing ground is uh, below and then corridor is above but this one yeah, it's a wrong one so existing ground is above and then finished surface is below okay so this condition we have to create it and then click okay okay now right click again here you have to add it in sections so section views here change volumes type double click here see material add see both cut fill came click click okay okay see see cut volume and fill volume area and volume came okay if you see it will show the hatch also as per Okay, material section so this is the output to create a cut fill volumes okay so i hope you like this video uh, this is just a simple test drive type uh, surface creation horizontal alignment vertical alignment then uh, corridor corridor means simple assembly and then applying to that apply that assembly in a corridor then creating sample lines and then output this is the simple process okay so but my suggestion is better follow standards and uh, you must be good in the band settings band see if you are good in that band settings then your output is will be in a very good very good format okay so so that's it guys i hope you like this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel okay bye bye